over the last two years, I've been working with partners in Mexico to support the co-designing of a community fab lab, La Campana. It is situated in the high school CBT's 99 in the neighborhood La Campana Altanera in Monterrey, Mexico. Fab lab means fabrication laboratory. A fab lab is a non-formal educational setting that provides expertise and machinery, such as computers, 3D printers or laser cutters, to enable local, digitally enhanced making, in collaboration with others. Fab labs use open innovation processes for producing artifacts locally and sharing ideas and solutions globally across their networks. For example, this mobile card where the tech is stored and critically it can be locked away to prevent robbery, is a design used to provide access to digital creative making in many marginalized and isolated communities. For example, also in Yucatecan Mayan communities in Mexico. After a conflict-ridden past in 2012, the La Campana Altamira neighborhood sought a change through open engagement in public life. The community Fab Lab has been supported by local and international higher education institutions, by local and international NGOs, to produce community designs like the outdoor furniture here, or conduct educational maker workshops in the community. Many of these early successes have been overrun by the lockdown and social distancing measures to prevent the spread of COVID-19 disease. This had disproportionate impact on the community, as may be true for many other disadvantaged communities. In this context, I'd like to address some questions and it would be really interesting to hear about similar experiences from others. So the, so the first one is, how, in the current pandemic, did public participation in community design and learning activities change as lockdown and social distancing measures took hold? Unemployment is increasing dramatically in La Campana Altamira. The neighborhood is in lockdown still, schools are closed and homeschooling is a theory. There is very low internet access rate and digital skills to engage and typical online learning replacements like Zoom are basically non-existent. Children and young people are just passing time. In crowded living conditions, we see more mental health issues arising and cases of domestic violence soar. However, many young people who have previously been actively involved in the Fab Lab, they beg for opportunities to make a positive change now. But concerns for their health make this very difficult. The second question. How could marginalized communities continue to participate in global social innovation if they cannot use a community fab lab? We continue to engage with the community and hope to provide creative, fun and useful informal learning activities in their homes. But first, we have to fix the connectivity issue with the help from a seed fund in the UK and much funding and staff time from Mexico, we plan to provide local mobile networking technology and mobile phones together with a small making kit to continue to engage in learning through making and sharing of the outcomes in smaller networks. Different audiences can be reached, younger or older children, but also local micro businesses can be supported through locally networked distance learning. Aim is to keep the habit of active participation and learning through making going and bridge to larger opportunities that may arise later on.